Welcome to Repair Wizard. We will demonstrate by starting Word and opening a file called Moby Dick to demonstrate how to use Wizard. Click on the Wizards tab. Click on Repair. Acknowledge that this is the correct document. Now click on Novel Manuscript for we're repairing a novel manuscript. Click Next. Now this screen tells you about how it will crea create a new folder in my books. Since this is a new project we will check this box here and we'll enter the name of the first line of our manuscript, Moby Dick. And we'll click Proceed. Now the wizard is telling us that it's going to name the file new underscore Moby Dick dot docm. We'll click OK. Now it asks us if we wish to have the novel repair wizard help displayed. For the, our purposes of this video we're going to say no, but you can have this displayed and it's a printed uh, from the help file. Now here are eight questions that you must answer that are very important. For those of you who are not experts in the use of Microsoft Word, these are very important because it notifies the wizard of what mistakes you may have made in formatting your document. So in each of them you'll see a button where it says explain this feature. If you're not sure what it means, click on that and it'll give you some more information. If you're not sure of something, exit the wizard, look at your manuscript and make sure the questions are answered correctly. If you don't answer the questions correctly, the repair wizard will make a real mess of your document, and you don't want that, okay? Because you'll have to start all over again. Okay, we're going to assume that you're a experienced and reasonable person, and you know how to use Word properly as a word processor. So we'll click, we won't check any of these things, we're just going to click Next. Now Wizard's going to replace what's called dirty blank lines. These are lines that you hit the space bar and then you hit the enter key. Well, that puts what's called a dirty blank line in there. You can't see anything unless you try to observe it. These will cause you problems later, so we'll clean them up. Next it asks us, do we have uh, a document that starts with a prologue or a chapter number. Ours is a chapter number. Our first chapter number, of course, is 1. The wizard will now insert a new title page as your first page. And then it asks, should I delete your old title page? Well, we've got an old title page, so we're going to delete Here, we fill out the author information. In our case, the author's name is Henry Melville. And we fill out the title of the work, which is Moby Dick, The White Whale, and the address, phone number, and email information. Now we have to fill out information about the chapter openings. The chapter openings, if you have a chapter that begins with chapter number, like chapter 1, chapter 2, chapter 3, you would check numbers as it's done here. If you have uh, a chapter title as we do, like the Loomings, we would set that to be text over here. Click Next. We can look at the formatting box. I'm going to say Yes. Now it's important to understand we're not done. We're really not done. We now have some new repair power tools. If you click up here, 
you'll see we have chapter number reformat, chapter title reformat, scene marker reformat, a new style tag, and body text reformat. Chapter number reformat is for reformatting your <coughs> chapter openings. If you've used chapter titles as we have, chapter title reformat will fix those. The scene marker tag is to notify the reader that a change of location, time, or point of view character has occurred. It is displayed as three asterisks centered. If you use other characters, you would change them with this tool. The new styles tag is used for special graphics you may have constructed that you wish to retain. By taking those paragraphs with this tool, you will retain them. The body text free format <coughs> is to generally change the entire body text of your uh, manuscript to the proper format. Now let's begin by reformatting our chapter openings. The first thing we need to do is to put the cursor into the first chapter one opening. Go to repair tools, click on chapter number reformat. Now it's reformatted the first chapter number for us and it's gone and found the word chapter further down in the document. In this case it's the beginning of chapter two. So what we can do is if we answer yes this it will reformat that chapter. Occasionally we will use the word chapter somewhere in the body text. In these cases it's going to find that word when it goes through this step. So we would want to answer this question no and then scroll down to the next chapter opening that needs to be reformatted and insert the cursor there and go back into the power tools to hit the chapter number reformat and then it will continue to look for chapter numbers. For now we're just going to click yes and yes again. Okay, all of our chapter numbers have been reformatted. Now we're going to reformat our chapter titles. Our first chapter titles is looming. So we will put the cursor into our chapter title, click on repair tools, click on chapter title reformat and it asks us is it properly located. Yes it is. Now it's gone down to chapter 2 and the chapter 2 title and it asks us we've, that it's found another possible chapter title. Do you wish to modify this and continue to the next one? We say yes and finds the chapter title for chapter 3. We change that. So now all of our chapter titles have been modified. All right, if we go up here, the next one will be scene markers. Well, we don't have any scene markers because old Herman didn't, didn't write any. Uh, we don't have any new style tags, so we won't be using that. So the next one is body text reformat. However, before you actually do body text reformat, you've got to look at your to make sure that you have everything formatted correctly. If for instance, you've got a block quotation used in your document. You want to tag that. You go up to the block quotation, you put your cursor into the block quotation paragraph and click block quotation. Or if you want an indented block quotation, you do the same here. If you've used an epigraph, either a page epigraph or a chapter epigraph, you click on this once you have your cursor in the text of the epigraph. If, for instance, you've used a heading, uh, typically the heading is used only in a novel that it perhaps would uh, notify the reader of a time change or perhaps a point of view change at the beginning of a chapter. Use this very sparingly, but if you have such, 
put your cursor into that heading and click heading. Now, at this point, everything in the, bo uh, in the manuscript should have been tagged with one uh, sort of wizard tag or another, except for the body text. When you click repair body text, it's going to change everything that's not not ha has not been tagged to body text. So let's put our cursor in the first paragraph. Click here. Click the body text reformat. It asks us if we've got it properly positioned. We say yes. And off it goes. Now it is going to delete all your tab characters. We recommend that you do that. And it's going to delete all the spaces after a paragraph mark. It's also going to set the spacing either to one or two. We recommend one space that makes most critics uh, less likely to criticize you. Now, uh, if you have any spaces, uh, it will delete all of those. Sometimes you have uh, blank lines. You can read through this uh, paragraph about uh, which blank lines to do. We're going to remove all our blank lines. All right. Now the manuscript's been reformatted. All right. So we're going to click OK here. Now we should be done. As you can see, we've got this reformatted text, and the text is using Courier. Well, Courier is a very easily readable font, but it's ugly. So if you want to change the font, you can go up here and click on this, and this will allow you to change the font. So we'll do that. We're going to put Times Roman in, and we'll leave it at 12 and we'll click OK. First chapter number is 1. Since your manuscript is fully repaired at this point, you need to go through it entirely, line by line, chapter by chapter, to ensure there are no mistakes. If you find some, manually edit those mistakes. This concludes the Repair Wizard tutorial.